What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Tech Control here. So today I'm gonna to do a quick tutorial, a quick setup guide for installing VirtualBox on your Windows computer. Now virtual machines have been around for a while. Um, it's a pretty cool setup because you have the ability to install um, essentially an operating system which is the guest within your operating system which is on your local machine, your laptop or computer which is the host machine. And the benefits of Installing a VM, of course, is, is versatile, so you can install Mac OS, Linux, Ubuntu, Windows, and the list goes on and on. Uh, but more importantly, if you uh, mess up something during the install or if the install crashes unexpectedly, you can always just close the window and restart the install, so you don't have to worry about creating um, a bootable USB and going through the hassle and having to partition the hard drive or any of that. So this is very cool because it's all software based. So let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, as always, we're going to go over to good old Google and you're just going to type in virtual box and you're going to hit the download link. And once you hit the download link, you'll see a bunch of options here. You can have uh, OS X and Linux and whatnot. And we're gonna obviously stick with Windows. So you're gonna click the Windows hosts. And once you click that, you're gonna see the download file is going to start downloading. And when it does download, you can set it up. It's very, very simple and very straightforward. Um, as you can see on the screen here, you just hit next, leave all the settings to default. Um, uh, there's no really no reason to change anything at this point and you would just hit next and then again leave everything default hit next again and then it's uh and you're gonna hit yes agree to all the terms as you would with any other software setup and you're gonna hit yes again at this window and it's going to complete the setup of virtualbox and once you have that you can launch virtualbox and set it up i'm just going to type windows 11 that's what i'm actually going to install and then uh, you'll see I have the 64-bit option and I selected Windows 10 64. Um, and my RAM, I'm going to use four gigs. So you can use, you can use two, four, six, whatever. Four gigs is what I'm gonna use. And again, I'm gonna leave everything default. Um, again, here default, hit next and allocate dynamically. And over here, by default, we're just gonna use the 50 gig allocation on the hard drive. So we're gonna do that and there it is. That's how easy it was. Um, very simple, we pretty much have it. We have our virtual machine set up to get an ISO or an image file installed. Important point worth mentioning, I forgot to enable virtualization and I noticed this message in the settings. If you see this message, an error, it basically means you have to enable virtualization in your BIOS system. Easiest way to check is right click on taskbar, go to task manager and then go to performance and you'll notice here, mine says enabled. You can enable it through your BIOS. And personal preference, I usually go to settings, go to system, uh, disable floppy. I mean, it's just there virtually, right? So, and you're gonna hit okay, and then go over to, if you go to storage, this is where you will be able to mount your ISO images and set up your virtual machines. And that's it, that's all. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Tech out.